Alrighty, so we're about to watch some more Infinity Train. This is for Season 2, Episode 5, The Parasite Car, and Episode 6, uh, The Lucky Cat Car. I think that's what that says, yes. And, uh, uh, I don't know about The Parasite Car. That sounds, that sounds worrying to me. I'm a little concerned about that one, so, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens in that one. And The Lucky Cat Car. Looks like, uh, by the sound of that, we're going to get to uh, see our old friend the cat again, which would be, uh, wonderful. So, uh, yeah, let's check them out. Singing time! Travel friends! The friends till the very end! Jesse's Travel got a wonderful voice. Friends. There's no rhythm in this song, which makes All right, MT. very, very dumb! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're buds! The majesty of a super deer. Look Take at the colors here. <laughs> oh. Dracula. Wow. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Meritulp is is uh is metal. Don't sniff those, okay? Oh. Let's say your prime dies. Tulips Please be good, Alan. Don't be evil. Or was eaten by a seal or something. Do you reflect her body? Mm, no. Once a prime dies, the flex make you choose if you want to have your memories erased oh. and reflect a new prime. Interesting. Or keep your memories but become a fleck to protect and enforce oh, the Oh, wow. But you're not doing neither. No, both options are stupid. That's kind of a crappy existence, don't yeah. you think? If someone, not me, either wash, rinse, and repeat or... In the mirror, can their reflection see them doing wow. it? Wow, become Again, a... Not me, someone else. Different become a person. fleck. Did I say not me? Oh, oh. Jesse, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, looks pretty deep. Jesse's well, asking like a million questions. Ride him across? Like rapid fire. That yeah. would actually annoy me. This is so cool looking. I love the color of these Come flowers. On, Casanova. Hey, I said it was someone else. <laughs> nice. Oh. Really, yes, Alan? Much appreciated. <laughs> this uh, freaking deer. Is it too much to ask for a regular door? Alan Dracula, be useful for once and laser Are these tulips lines. actually? Watch. These flowers? I forget more. what tulips look like. My goodness. That's more like it, Alan Dracula. Hey, wow, well, thank you. I think you guys are pretty good too. What? Oh, you can talk? You Excuse can me? Talk. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, you bet. <laughs> Another one of my amazing superpowers, I guess. Or magic or science. You know, one of those What things. is happening? Yeah, yeah. Checks out. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> hey, what's in your mouth? Hello, hi. Nice oh. to meet you. Hopped aboard your deer pal back in the mud. Out of the mouth, Parasite. I thought I now. saw hey, something well, green the name calling? in Alan's call mouth. Your name? How about Perry? You'd like that, right? Perry. Perry? That's cute. <laughs> I'm cute. Saying you're cute no. doesn't make you cute. Yeah, Parasite. Yeah, I don't now, like Alan having a Parasite. Label. Practical. Remember when I zapped away those vines? Your dear pal Alvin would have never done Alvin. that. <laughs> I'll never sneeze your feet into ice, and you can ride me like a horsey all day long. Convenient, no. right? But no, I you Perry. Came from the mud. How do you know about No Alvin? deal. I can read this guy's mind, and let me tell you, he likes you both very much. Aw, that's sweet. Alan's fond of them. That's cute. The hearts. I hope this is true. Almost as much as grass, which uh, seems to occupy every other waking thought. <laughs> that actually checks out. Old Antlerhead loves this new setup. We're like brain roommates. MT. Now we don't Alan know if we Dracula should believe Perry. Actually listens to us might not be such a bad thing mm. as long as it's not hurting him. I don't like oh, well, it. Gosh, I'm worried. Never. I hate. I hate that I'm naturally suspicious of anything on this show. <laughs> what? After you. The, the thing about Save Alan the is. Please never turn your hoof into an adult <laughs> human hand again. <laughs> it's so baby. weird. Anyone else feel a song coming up? Like, I don't think travel Alan's actually a deer. I don't know. Deep, but now they're four. The travel friends are so much more. Let's bring it home, Jesse. I'm liking all the singing. <laughs> I know this is weird, but maybe we can give... Alan is such a, a big mystery on this show, right? Yeah, well, you didn't trust me at first either, but look at us now. What is Alan, and yeah. what is Alan's Doggy purpose? Hey, does Alan seem bigger to you? Hmm. Maybe? Hmm. No way am I bigger. Oh. We're outside and I just look bigger because of the big train. That's not how perspective works. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> sure it is. So will you stop it with the hand? This is oh, this is not good. Stop doing it, that. This isn't but good. You said no adult hands. No, oh, baby hands are worse. Baby hands. That's a creepy. And you are Hello? 
Oh my god. I'm Sashay, baby. I'm head hunches here at Sashay's runway Sashay? <laughs> If you don't hit the exit runway pronto, the judges are going to I was going to say, out. isn't that like a Comfort runway thing? Exit runway? I like this music. Yes, the only way out of here is to dress to impress with finesse. This reminds oh, me like something out of like this. a Daft Punk video. <laughs> nice. It's got quite the walk. Very nice. <laughs> Ta-da! Wonderful, uh, beautiful. Seems easy enough. Ta-ta! We can't keep those judges waiting. It's time for Sashay's Runway Fairway. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for our first contestant. I like uh, Sashay's uh, design. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at Jesse! <laughs> Jesse nailing it. Oh, don't go to the split! Judges? Lucky number nine! Nine, all Lucky right! Nine. Nice, Round Jesse. Up to a ten and you're a winner, darling. Mm. You may exit. MT looks awesome. <laughs> Nailing it. Avant garde. More like avant great. You may exit. Great job. It's Alan Dracula. Oh wow. <laughs> uh. I don't know how I feel about Perry. I don't know. It's it's just wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Was that Alan fighting back? I can't tell if that was on purpose or not. I don't know if I'm looking too much into that. Nice work in there. Hey, 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 how about a little personal space? But I thought Alan Dracula liked that. Well, you know, people change. Hey, check out no, this new door. No, folks, we cannot trust this parasite. We got to get rid of Perry. Oh, who here? Hungry for adventure. Oh, I like that music. Yeah, Perry's not. Complimentary chips and hey, <laughs> they're dip. Meaty chili, no. meat and chips, great. <laughs> I bet you the old Alden couldn't do that. <laughs> I see. You see uh, what Perry's no, doing. No. Mm, mm. What are you doing? Alan Dracula's a vegetarian. Yeah. Well, not anymore. See, I'm growing and changing just like you, Joe. Yeah, Perry's. Um, yeah, it's it's Perry has. Yeah. yeah like oh, I said, just... Sorry. That's Alan fighting back. Ah, or something. Alan. That's Alan trying, I feel like, trying to get this thing out. I think Alan Dracula's trying to kick Perry out. Yeah. Because it's a parasite. It like an infection. I'm pretty sure I'm the same size. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no! I hated that. Alan doesn't want this. You have to. Alan look alone. really scared. Stuck with a deer who oh, I hate it. You. We like him because he's Alan Dracula. No. Mm. Okay, so maybe we both want the same. Thing. We don't like we you, Perry. Alan, you suck. Like, maybe I'm a little stuck here, guys. I could use some help. Oh boy. How fast can you get to that flower car? See, Perry. Empty, Giles, and empty. <laughs> Giles? <laughs> See, Perry, hey, a very so smooth talker. Wasn't full for a moment. They got, <laughs> they got to do that again. <laughs> Come on, Alan. You can do it. Get in there. Get Perry out of there. Nice throw. Sneeze. Uh, Smart. What a genius idea. Alan, are you okay? <laughs> Alan does not like being ridden. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Alan Dracula got your number down. Well, Eleven. Great job, Jimmy. Kind of thanks to Jimmy. Me too, though, right? Get the name right. Now, guys. Guys. Ah, oh, come on. I spent two years stuck in a succulent. Let Is that bacon? Your Ugh. No. Stay out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I did not like that. Oh, that one shot of Alan. When Alan was finally able to show, like, his face, like, his true face, like, actually have some control. Like, that, just a look of fear and pain in his eye. Like, please save me. Uh... But yeah, that Perry, that that thing was kind of powerful though. Like how quickly it was able to gain control and was slowly 
I'll say very and also very manipulative. Like it, like like I said, very charming. Uh, and was <laughs> doing a pretty good job of convincing MT and Jesse that that he was like that was good that he was there. You know, like saying like Alan likes this. We want the same things and whatnot and blah blah. So just nothing but manipulation and. I'm glad they eventually saw through that. They're like, I figured with that, with those outbursts, that's what it was. Alan trying to fight back and trying to either like do it like a call for help or try to kick him out of there because yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a parasite. I, I don't know much about parasites, but I'm pretty sure most parasites aren't really good. Right. <laughs> uh, and I, and I really enjoyed the bonding at the start of the episode. It's nice to see MT kind of like, loosen up a bit, you know, was singing along with Jesse. Jesse's coming off a little strong, asking some pretty personal questions, though. Chill there. We learned something really interesting about the mirror world, about the reflections. Uh, when their prime dies, they either A, get their memory wiped and become a new reflection, or B, they keep those memories, and but they become a fleck. And I could see why MT... Imagine just giving, being given two options like that. You know, MT's like, well, why do I have to do either one? Why can't I just be me? Uh, so I guess most reflections just can't really, don't really get to be themselves, obviously, because they're, they're the reflection of a, someone else. And it makes me actually more curious now to know, you know, about our two main flex, uh, Mason. Oh, God, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. Bad with names. Uh, I wonder what, the, what they're... Who were who were their primes and what they were like? So I'm very curious about that. But yeah, no, that was really solid. Uh, yeah, uh, let's get into episode six. Let's watch the lucky cat car. Come on, Grass for Allen. Oh my God, the lasers! Is this all cats? Oh my God, yes! Look how cool this looks. Nice. My family goes to powwow at look our this bananas. every year. One time, Nate wrapped his whole head in cotton candy and. Oh boy, no. Hey, that's not a make good things right with him when you get yeah, home. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. that was picking on him. Totally. The only part I ever got to experience was the house of mirrors. Mirrors, I was well, just gonna the say that. Situation, let's not tempt fate. Into a house of mirrors, there's a bunch of reflections. Does that mean you have a bunch of reflections stuck in the mirror world? No. Mirror All reception. The reflections are me. Whoa, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know. It's like I, I don't know. No, Do you that know question's how every too big. Body works? Alan hey, wants a prize. You. What have you done? That's not real grass, buddy. Oh. So, how do we play the game? Alan wants grass. Using to win him, friends. The toad! Oh my God, he's got the cape like Elvis. And you're getting kicked again? Oh, it's not like that. I, I operate this booth myself. Now people pay to kick me. Nice. Oh, uh, please pay to kick me. Please pay to oh. kick me. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you for well, telling me that Owen Dennis to voices the toad. Y'all get two points each. Nice. Now go take a gander at the Oh, I really thought we were going to see the Connor. cat. Thanks, Toad. Well, we might call him Terrence. Wait, Terrence? Your name was Terrence this whole time? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Picked a new name. Hey! That was, uh, what's his name? Ooh, look at the fashion. Oh, my God! That's the other guy from the crystal car. Yes! Hello, dearies. <gasps> Anything here that catches your eye? You're back. Maybe one of these unusual musical instruments. Oh. I call it a buzz toot. <laughs> Tulip, what are you still doing on the train? Aww. You've given yourself quite the makeover, kitten. I'm not Tulip. I'm. Does MT not know the cat? Tulip. <gasps> C'est merveilleux. A reflection. Yeah. I've never seen one of your kind in the prime world. How did you know that I. Now. Who is this? Tom this is the cat we're talking about. They know everything. Hi, I'm Jesse. Jesse, meet the cat. I got to know her when I was okay. still attached to Tulip. She's a world class con artist. Mm. World class entrepreneur. <laughs> now let's cut the chit chat. How many a young passenger like Jesse might need? Mm. Ooh, beautiful. Ah. Oh. Want to exit? Have to win. Love it. Only those with a thousand points are allowed access. And I must warn you, you have a competitor. Oh, hello. Interesting. Looks like she plays to win. Oh, silly me. I forgot to <laughs> oh, mention. Silly me. There can be only one exit winner. A oh, month. a month? Made that rule. Wouldn't be a game without stakes. But I'll tell you I what. I wonder if one one if made that rule or not. If you win a combined score of 1,000 points, 
I'll give you both access. Oh. Noblesse oblige and all that. Why are you charged? We have two new competitors uh -oh. in the door. I wonder who that is. Wow, you're already a little Let bit ahead. Exit games begin. Ooh, yeah, I love that. This show, they need to get this show on vinyl. Get the same As you can see, I love soundtracks on vinyl. Ah! Really? Oh, that's horrible! Oh, I hate that. I didn't like that. If you'd like to place bets on the contenders, please see the betting booth. Oh, I wonder who you are. I wonder if anyone we've seen before. Maybe like a new character. Uh, we have a winner! Hey! Yes. <laughs> uh, water guy! I know I just won that game! You have to give more points to win one with a number. Passengers get preferential oh. treatment because they have a greater need to exit the car. Aww. Personally, I'd run my business differently. Ooh, I just thought of something. Of commerce, want to buy a donut holer? <laughs> donut holer! I just thought of something. <laughs> what? Guess not. Jar pickles? Came on a bit strong there, mate, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just because MT going. can't get off the train, What's right? What's wrong with this place? The point is that everything and everyone on this train wants me to fail. Hmm. Hey, I don't want you to fail, and I'm on the train. And Jesse's going to get off this train them. at some point. Once my number gets to and zero, lose we're their all anyway. What? 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 You want us to come with you? You want me to come with you? Aww. Yeah, you're my friend. Oh, Jesse. I'm not leave you here with the flex chasing after you. Oh. Like, but can MT leave? Oh. Whoa! See? Even my number knows you should come back with me. Well, if your number thinks so, I guess I should. <laughs> uh, so who cares if they give passengers more tickets? There's still two of us, and we can still get that door. Jesse's a good Alan soul. If we could Alan to play, then there'd be... Oh, no, where's Alan? You, I'm gonna Alan... smash that crane game to the ground. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> crane game! Oh, Alan just wants grass. I love that. That's great. Uh. Okay, Alan. Itchy back. Oh boy. Oh no, it's those it's those guys. Uh. Oh no. Oh, combined. That's right. I forgot they have to combine. So you're just gonna leave without your deer then? What? Where, Where is he? Oh no, where, where did he? Al go? Uh, I, don't, I want him, I want him, I want him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Uh, Alan! Uh, and our mystery competitor has reached 1,000 points. It's a race to the finish uh, line. Uh, oh no, no, no. Oh no, we, we can't. We need both our cards to win the exit. Play the crane game. Come on, Alan. Don't be difficult. Oh boy, you're going to be difficult. Don't lose all your points. Oh, thank goodness. Bad Alan. <laughs> Go, oh no. They took my precious little deer. Please do be quiet, Arnold. A win is a win. Are you kidding? Oh no, Alan. What have you done? Well played, madam. You thank can't you help it, I know. The but lucky still. cat. Might not want to thank me just yet. Why? What? Sorry for the disguise, but I didn't think you'd give me access to the door if you knew who I was. Who are you? Who are you? There's a history here. Oh, the music. Evil sounding. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't realize you're like super precious about this car. We're passengers. We do what we have to to survive. Mm. Plus, I wanted a corn dog. So, hey kid, what's your number at? Four? Wow. <laughs> we'll have to fix that back at my base. Come on. Wait, what? No. Ta da! Mm. Door. <sighs> this car was cheap. What an interesting. I think she's okay. Little she's letting twist us use here. the exit when she doesn't really have to. This isn't over. Oh no, the cat's pissed. Climbing. Grace? The cat. Did the cat say Grace? Uh, one, take this corn dog. Uh -huh. Two, bring them back to the base. Interesting. They have no interest of leaving. Yeah, they've given up on that. For whatever reason why you're on this train, you obviously did not want to change or 
fix whatever was going on in your life, right? Interesting. I think the name was Grace. Let me double check. Yeah, Grace. Okay. That's what I thought the cat said. So, wow. Interesting. Uh, so we have a whole new character introduced, and obviously there's a history here between Grace and the cat, and why Grace is doing what they're doing, obviously to s survive, and it seems like, obviously, by looking at the number, Grace has given up, obviously, on trying to get off the trade, and this is their life now. And all these kids, too, were these kids brought on the train as well like how, oh my god like again it gets to a point where it's like how many people are on this damn train uh but that car was really cool i love the carnival setting i love the colors i love the aesthetic i like that there was like these badgers and everything all dressed in the very like high society like outfits right like victorian looking outfits and maybe that's not victorian i'm not sure uh and i like the whole thing of playing the games to get the amount of points to get off the car uh and it was nice to see some previous characters. Uh, I'm forgetting one. I know we saw the crystal guy. Uh, we had the toad, which was really cool. And I like they kept feeding more into the whole Elvis uh, personality there with the cape and everything. Terrence, sorry. And there was another character, that past character we saw, and I totally forget who it was. Who was it? Oh, the, the, the little dude in the ball pit car. <laughs> we saw him. So yeah, uh, nice to see that like, a lot of these characters just travel in between the cars and whatnot. It's very interesting to me. But yeah, obviously the big thing, uh, Jesse. Jesse wanting MT to come with him when he gets out. That's really sweet. And that was something that I, I mentioned. I'm like, what happens when Jesse gets off the train? Like, can MT go? Or can MT not leave? And that that's and if that if that's the case, that's very that's upsetting, right? Uh that MT's gonna lose their friend. And I mean, MT will still have Alan, but again, I don't know Alan's deal either. Again, and in, in none of these questions I have might not have any answers. I don't know, but I'm going to ask him. <laughs> and yeah, but yeah, this thing with Grace, I don't know Grace's deal. We'll see. I'm very curious. And now I'm actually kind of thinking like each season of this show seemed, you know, based off the first two, there's different protagonists, different you know, person we follow. I wonder if this is kind of like our introduction to maybe Grace being our new main character moving forward. I don't know, maybe in the next season or not. I don't really know. Um, I just think it's interesting that we're introducing another human character and I feel like that could be the case there. So I feel like it has to be a human, not say human character, but like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm just having a feeling like we're not this, no, outside of these, this episode and another one, I feel like we're going to see Grace again. But yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out as always and watching Infinity Train with me. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know uh, what was your favorite part about either of these two episodes. Like I said, I, I really liked the Lucky Cat car. It was great to see the cat again as cutting as always <laughs> and uh always trying to con and whatnot uh very much very much a trickster uh but i really enjoyed the lucky cat car i love the carnival setting adored it i love the stuff with alan trying to get the grass in the vent in the claw machine brilliant but yeah let me know your thoughts on that as well but yeah folks have a great one see you in the next one bye